In addition to the big brands like Adidas, Red Pack and Converse, this year sees the introduction of many, many little, small, independent labels, artists and designers who wanted to just carve their little niche here in So Superior. There were these two vendors that got word about how it's a nice hybrid in terms of trade show to flea market experience. So I think they just thought it was like a good opportunity to try something new. Singapore has its growing sneaker culture. Compared to where I come from, the Philippines, the sneaker scene is very big. It's very hard for us to compete because it's only the two of us. It's a small business. It's all about sneaker customization and restoration. So we started out with designing our own shoes until we posted it on sneaker groups and then we get a lot of people, oh, can you do it for us? Then a year ago, we started it and now we're here. So we did this ID service for the first 20 slots for free and in one day we completed the 20 slots. When they did expose us on Instagram, we really, really got a lot of attention. I'm bringing my own label which is Jens, what I'm wearing right now. And at the same time, I'm bringing a shoe cleaning company actually it's from Indonesia, Shoes and Care. So I brought the boys in and we introduced on the right way on cleaning shoes. The shoes that I'm bringing to Soul Sopira is basically the Paris SB, which is the most expensive SB that I own. Staple Pigeon, London SB, Freddy Krueger, the last one is 420 Hem. To me, the Pigeon are the attraction of all because one of them actually has the signature of Jeff Staple, the designer of the shoe. So it's good for this year's Soul Sopira. I came last year as a customer, just browse around and, and enjoyed myself, so this year I was really fortunate to be offered a little booth from Jonathan. What we brought today is basically a very broad representation of what I collect. Also, a lot of shoes that I brought, I actually don't feel like selling, but just to do the event justice, okay, I'll put out what I have, and if I get a reasonable enough price, I'll let it go to a better home. So Spirit 2015 is a little bit of a continuation from 2014 because in 2014 we had FZPZ and Filer and Fox doing the much of the performance and Fox is an A&R guy. This is a project called Hybrid Theory where he has only like 28 tracks of local bedroom producers and musicians of which he consolidated all the hip-hop acts and they were here today to do live sets. We have guests from as far as uh, Sydney, Australia, vendors from Indonesia, Indonesian visitors. I think we have a few guests who are from the States that happen to just be traveling and they came across posters, so they were here. I guess it's nice to have other lifestyle aspects incorporated in the Soul Superior. Like last year we had Allscript who do periodicals and books and I mean this year we have a little bit of lifestyle. I'm most happy with that this year we finally got to implement the panel discussion which I thought went fantastically well. The panelists that comprised of Mandy and the two designers Johnny and Joe. It was great to hear the stories from them to be so forthcoming to share. It's very informative and knowledgeable was actually a project that was going to happen right after the SBTG dump. But the sad thing is this whole project got canned. When he talked about the unreleased Nike SB and the fact that he actually bought the sample from eBay, I think the minute he said that this was his design, but he never actually got to see the actualized version of the shoe. But on eBay, he found two pairs of it and he actually put down over $2,000 to buy his design in a physical form. And we got to see that physical shoe today. This mythical item in real life. That to me is amazing. LE brought in the really extremely rare stuff. The fact that there was the limited ad collab. First time in the whole world they could see the shoe itself. Today is a really important day for us. It's probably our biggest launch ever. We as limited edition brand collaborating with Adidas. I remember I was in Germany two months ago and they were telling me the take up rate for the shoe was amazing and there's so many global accounts that are going to carry this. I mean, just for the Singapore local release, uh, those people who bought the shoes, the Superstar and the Flux, they get the shoe packaged in a special collector case. So it's really cool. You know, I'm just so happy today, the amount of pre-orders, the amount of take up reservations for our VIP members. So it's, it's been a great success. I'm glad we still managed to hit above the 20,000 mark in terms of product value given away to the attendees for Soul Superior. That's basically how it goes. Uh, you know, people that take part give us product, we give the product back to the people that come for the event. I hope Soul Superior carries on for the next couple of years. As long as the sneaker culture is thriving, it's a good avenue for people from all over Southeast Asia to come together and celebrate that one love that we all have, sneakers. I would like to grow Soul Superior bigger and possibly in future we'll hit up like 
newspapers and tourism board where we can actually champion to the rest of the world and hopefully grow it to such a stage that it becomes a pride, you know, Singapore.